Hey guys, it's Sugaro Studios, and I am back today with a August 2020 barn tour. Before we get started, I want to let you guys know that I have a lot of things for sale on my Etsy. I sell custom model horses where you can design your own, and I have I'm doing commissions. I also sell blankets and repainted horses and some tack from time to time. If you look up Sugar Rose Studios on Etsy, you will find my personal account where I have all of my listings. These are the current listings that I have available and you can purchase them from any country worldwide. The link will be in the description and you can hopefully go check it out. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also, you may have noticed this new awesome board behind me, which I just made, and I included a bunch of pictures that are super cool, that are like my favorite photos I've ever really taken. And I have, well, it says Sugar Rose Studios, so yeah, it's all official. So this is my photo board from the other side. I think it looks pretty cool. I really love it. And this is what we will be seeing today. This is my new shelf with the barn on it. And then I also have some other stuff on the shelf here. And then I also have that shelf over there, which I got over at Home Goods. Super awesome, I love it. Okay, so we're gonna start on the shelf. All of these barns are handmade. All of the horses in this barn are customs. So this is Vivian and she's checking in on Butterscotch, who is a custom on the Lipizzaner mare. And um, right here is Peanut, the little barn squirrel. The Shibu Inu dogs, Alna and Peaches. And then in this stall is Emily, who's with Oliver, a custom on the retired paint stallion. And when I say retired, it just means that you can't buy this model in stores currently. And Emily always rides to work every day on her bike. And then over here is Elmira. And she's a custom on the retired Frisian mare. And this, this is Taylor. And she is right next to this little baby kitty named Caramel. Taylor really loves to study, so she has some nice little books right here. And this is Onyx. He is a custom on the retired thoroughbred gelding, and he's supposed to be now a quarter horse. And there's some hay bales and of course the little barn mouse here, as well as this little tiny bird who is absolutely adorable above the watering area. And this is Gloria and she is holding some what looks like tomatoes. And this is Jojo the barn cat. And then in this stall is Lavender and her full summer. They are the Fjord mare in full. And Jenna is trying to give Lavender an apple. And this is Fiona and she's carrying a bridle. I'm not really sure where to, but she's looking in on Lavender and Summer. Next door we have Cherry and her full creamsicle. And they are the Halflinger Marin Full. And this is the Marin Full barn, pretty much. Right here is Emma riding Rosie. She's a custom on the Connemara mare. And I also made all of this tack and yeah. This is Belladonna and her foal. His name is Sin and they are the Tinker Marin foal. And the vet here, Dr. Catrice, is making sure that the foal is nice and healthy. Something really cool about these stalls is that the doors open and close, like so. So that is it for the top barn area. Moving on to the second level of the shelf. These are my four season shelves. Starting on this edge is the spring box. So we have this basically cherry blossom area. Right here is Hannah. She is a Belleville doll. I have an entire video on where you can find Belleville dolls. And this is Estrella and her full cashew. And they are the, um, well, this is the Dartmoor full with um, a custom I did on the Dartmoor mare. She's now a Fjord mare. This is Nancy. She's trying to take some pictures. And back here is a bunch of bunnies. 
and these bunnies just love the springtime. There are some little baby bunnies eating out of this little container. And then there are some other retired bunnies. He's cleaning his face. There's also some little guinea pigs, baby bunny, and another larger bunny. And then there's a bunch of these babies playing. It for this spring box. Next is the summer box. Right here is Sarah. And this is Courtney. And they're having a little picnic with um, Courtney's model horse, of course. <laughs> and on this side, there's kind of like a beach getaway that they're like, mm, maybe we'll go there later. And then on this side is more of a forest, totally realistic, I know. Over here, this is Fennel. He is the Balabala gelding. And then we have some little chicks. And this is Sandy, the chicken back, back there, who is based on my real life chicken. Um, and she, she is a white leghorn chicken. And then over here are the Falabella mare and foal. The mare's name is Lilia and her foal's name is Spot. And they have this little um, stall that has a door that opens and closes. Also, there's some supplies to muck out the stall. Kind of still enjoying their picnic with their little pet hedgehogs and cookies. So I doubt they'll be cleaning that stall anytime soon. Moving on to the fall section. This is not a Schleck model. This is a WIA model from a website called Model Fair Versant. And um, he's basically an exclusive WIA model that you can only get from this website. This is Jasmine and she is um, the owner of Gustav. And then back there is a chicken coop with a bunch of chickens in it. His name is Henry. He always likes to perch on the top. If we open the roof here, we can see there is a hen. Her name is Honey, and she has two chicks. One of them is climbing up the little stairway there. And it's Daisy, the other brown chickens. And there are two other brown chickens in here. Um, the one that is also eating seed is named Cupcake, and then the one in the far corner's name is Sprinkles. And then over here is Crystal and Chris, and they just got some eggs from the chicken coop. And they have their two dogs, Alpha. So that is it for the fall box. And lastly, of the seasons, I think this one might be my favorite. This is the winter box. This is, a, this is Prospero. He's a custom on the Dartmoor Stallion. And this is Calypso. He is a custom on the retired gray riding pony. And there is a little snow hare named Marshmallow, as well as a little baby Dalmatian. His name is Dingo. And then there's also some firewood for later. And the, there are two cardinals that are just like sitting in a tree. I absolutely love this. And the fake snow is so pretty. So that is it for the four seasons. Let me know in the comments which season is your favorite. And this is the last level of the bookshelf. So these are two gray riding ponies. And Jessica is just checking in on Storm. And Storm is a custom on the gray riding pony. There's also some hooks for the halters as well as some empty water buckets. And on this side is Biscuit, also a custom on the gray riding pony. And this is Sheila, the barn cat. And this is there's two stalls. Over in the corner is Bob, and he's just getting some horse feed and just standing back there. This is Grace, and she is just checking out a bear back pad made by Infinity Briars. On the side, there's a little painting of a horse as well as a little bitty pitchfork. So that is it for this box. And this is the tack room. So this is new. Um, this is a little um, dollhouse kind of, it's actually meant to be a refrigerator, but I'm using it as a closet for all of my saddle pads. And I'm just gonna move it out of the way so we can see the rest of what's in here. So this is the tack room. This is Palooza and her kitten, Joseph. And then there are places you can keep your saddles on the side. And this is Erin and she's just carrying one of the saddles, uh, I think to tack up a horse probably. So this is the final box in the bookshelf. And this is Effie, she's a custom on a Schleck rider. And then this is Sophia, the owner of Blossom. And then back there, there's just a barn sink, just in case they ever have to wash anything out. Whiskey, he is the Collecta Tricaner Stallion. And this is Poppy, and she is a Collecta Missouri Fox Trotter Mare. Open and close. 
and there's also a table out here with a grooming box so someone can groom poppy later okay and i'm just going to do a quick overview of the bookshelf moving on to the transition period between this bookshelf and this shelf over here so this is just a little marin full barn these are both ponies also we have some bunnies as well as a little container and another bunny who has some carrots he can eat and then there's also some hoof oil and I think that's might be shampoo or conditioner. So this is Rockin' Cozy. She's the Darmar Mare and her foal's name is Obsidian. This is Delilah and she's checking on the fell mare in foal. Her name is B Buffalo Miss and her foal's name is Peter. Here is the wash doll that I used in my Schleich series. And this wash doll is from Playmobil, and something really cool about this wash doll, unlike the Schleich wash doll, is that you can put water in the bottom and you can pump it out and it will come through the hose. He's the retired Tennessee Walker Stallion, and this is Morgan, and she's just filling up a water bucket to wash him, made by Infinity Fryers. Okay, and now we'll move on to this shelf. So this is the first paddock. This is Cookie. She is the fell mare custom that I've done. And then over here, uh, and she's a custom on the Welsh Pony Mare. And this is Rachel. She's just trying to give her a carrot. And this is Hunter. He is a dog here at the barn. And Kristen is walking over to make sure that they are both okay. This is the second paddock. This is a Dartmoor Hill Collecta Mare, whose name is Villa. And back there is Magdalena, and she's just carrying her helmet and making sure the two ponies over there are all right. This is the Collecta Shetland pony named Nightwind. And then behind Nightwind is Cherry Bomb, the Falabella Collecta mare. And right here is Echo, and she is the Collecta Dartmoor mare. And I have a Crop With Me video where I made this paddock as well. So this is Giovanna and she's holding one of the baby bunnies from over in the summer box. And there's this really adorable Riemann miniature cat who is stretching. <laughs> and there's some tack over here that was just taken off of the half linger stallion whose name is Velux. And Jose is brushing him. And this is Xavier and he is just sweeping up the path right behind Cheyenne and Effie. I really love this lead rope and halter combination. Okay, and this is the arena, and I know it's small, I'll just pretend it's bigger. I'm trying to convince my mom to help me build a new arena, so hopefully that will be happening soon. Over on this side is Firefly, and he's wearing a western set made by Schleich Scythe, and he's being held over here by Luis. This is Eli and Savannah, and they are watching the horses train. This is Karen, and she is riding Indigo, the paint mare. And all the rest of the track sets in here are made by me. Over there is Princess being ridden by Grace. And this is Disney and she is being ridden by Alara. And she is the Tennessee Walker Mare. And then on the final level, there is a Marin Full Barn and a pasture in the front. And what I got from Michaels. This is Eliza, and she's just standing next to this cat perched up on the little zen garden. And this is Amelia, and she is petting Fireworks, who is a, another Riemann miniature cat. This is Glory. She is a Mojo Fjord mare. She's just grazing on some grass out here. This is Penny. She is the Morgan mare. This is Snowflake. She is a recolor on the Tennessee Walker mare. And over there is Glitter. She is a custom on the Hanoverian mare and she's on for sale. And this is Liera. She is a custom on the Shetland Pony mare. She is a pink dapple and she's also for sale on my Etsy. She's super beautiful. The Black Forest mare and the Yearling. Her name is Shayna and her foal's name is Aisling. This is the Halflinger mare and foal. The mare's name is Cornmeal and the foal's name is Trumpkin. And that is the paint mare and foal. The mare's name is Sparkle and the foal's name is Ronin. Okay, and that is the shelf right here. 
And I also have all of these horses on this shelf. All of their blankets and halters are custom made by me. This is Shimmer. She is the Andalusian mare. This is Chantilly and she is the Clydesdale mare. Next to her is Smokey. She is the Paint mare. This is Diadem and she is the Collecta Foxtrotter mare. Next to her is Onua and she is a recaller on the Schleich Tinker mare. That is Tulip. She is the Tennessee Walker mare. Next to her is Breeze, the retired Appaloosa mare. This is Yakushi. He is the thoroughbred gelding. Next to him is Caligula. He is the retired Tricaner stallion. And this is Orange Juice, and she is the retired Hufflinger mare. Next to her is Rabidash. He is the new Tricaner gelding. And this is Wildfire. He is the retired Napstrapper stallion. This is Golden Girl. She is the new quarter horse mare. And this is Ariana, a custom I did on the retired Hufflinger mare. This is Forwin. He is the Palomino stallion. Next to him is Bluebell, the Clydesdale mare. This is Persia. She is the new recaller exclusive Hanoverian mare. Bell, she is the Camar Camarge mare. Is Belfry the Andalusian stallion? Is Serpent the Aki Tiki stallion? This is Brownstone the retired Arabian stallion. This is Buck Mountain the retired Hanoverian mare. This is Clover the retired Fjord stallion, and Dandy a custom on the Fjord stallion. This is Stardust the Tricaner mare. This is Mystery the Arabian mare, a part of the Horse Club series. And this is Relic, the Pentavian mare. Captain, he's an exclusive model that comes in one of the horse uh, schleich sets. This is Blueberry, the retired Frisian mare. Next to her is Sunrise. He is the retired Fjord. He is the Collecta Fjord stallion. Next to him is Laron. He is a retired schleich Arabian stallion. And this is Epona. She is a Bashkir Curly mare this is Heartland. She is a um, exclusive set uh, Hufflinger mare, and I'm not sure what breed she is. Black Beauty, the new um, 2020 Frisian mare. Cheval, the 2020 Arabian mare. Next to her is Arthvale, and she is the retired quarter horse mare. And next to her is Birch, the Andalusian mare, retired Andalusian mare, and this is Flicka. She is the new Lipizzaner mare, and next to Flicka is a recolor on the uh, Frisian mare, and her name is Everglade. She was found on AliExpress. This is Fledge. He is the new Paso Fino stallion. This is Domino, an exclusive set um, horse that comes in the like cafe set and i'm not necessarily sure what breed he is as well this is golden lake she is the presboski mare next to her is seraphim she is the retired Dharma mare this is bella she is the icelandic mare next to her is daima also an icelandic mare who with her blanket and full is on as a bundle for sale on my etsy Next to her is Lily, who is a Connemara mare, Aquarius, the retired Faustalian. And next to him is Ariel. She is the Welsh mare. Next to Ariel is Theo. He is the Welsh pony stallion. And next to Theo is Vincent, a custom I did on the Welsh pony stallion. I just want to say I'm really proud of this guy, and I really like how his hair came out, and this blanket as well. This biscuit, he is a Welsh pony stallion, an exclusive from the pony training set. He is also the star of my Schleich series. This is Toffee. He is a wild Doolan pony, who is also a set exclusive. Next to him is 
Thara. She is the Icelandic mare. Next to Thara is Windflow, and he is the original Grey Riding Pony. That is Teton. He is the Icelandic Stallion. This is Gisburn, and he is the Dartmoor Stallion. And finally, this is Cheerily, and she is the retired Icelandic mare. And here are all the horses on the shelf. All right, Roses, I really hope you enjoyed that barn tour. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It means the world to me as well. You should really check out my Instagram. I post every single day. And please do check out my Etsy. That's the best way that you can support me and buy some of my products. Some changes that you're gonna be seeing in the barn for the next barn tour is hopefully I will have built my new tack room as well as the office for all of my riders. I'm also still trying to convince my mom to help me build my new arena. So hopefully that will be coming up. I'm also going to be getting an order from Rio Rondo soon, so I'll be able to be making more blankets, and hopefully some of those will be for sale. In addition, I'm going to be starting school soon uh, on S September 8th. I still have a ton of summer work that I have to do as well. I'm studying for the SATs, so I apologize if I'm not posting as regularly as I was last month. Regardless, I still want to keep making content for you guys throughout the year, and I won't be going back to school live. I will be going back to school virtually. So this might be a part one of this barn tour because I didn't show you guys my basement barn, which you probably remember from my last barn tours, which if you haven't watched, you should, totally should. Um, and that is because my basement barn is totally in absolute shambles. I tried to bring all my horses or most of them at least upstairs so I could um, give them a blanket and I tried to give all of them halters. So it's kind of a crazy time. But if I happen to organize it, you know, before August is over, I will definitely give you guys a part two. So let me know in the comments what you think of this barn tour, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Thanks. Stay sweet. Bye. I wanted to mention really quickly that my uh, commissions are still open. A picture of the horse that you would like to be painted on a specific set of like models, and usually it helps if you send me more than one, just so I can know what model you want to have it on. And I will give you a price estimate. Most of them are around $65, but they can be more or less depending on the complexity. And please do not comment that they are too expensive because number one, I spend a lot of time doing these models and they are not just a simple run of the mill paint job. If you are looking for just a like horse, then I would recommend any of the stores that I have said in a past video where I say where you can buy your like horses. And if you're not willing to buy this piece of art, then please do not message me with any offers of trying to pay less or anything like that.